All right, so we should be back on. Now we are into our uh, photograph editing um, stream. So, uh, yeah, so we're back. So, hello, Chicken Man Gamer. Hello, how are you? So let's go ahead and kill these photos right there because we'll just remove them. Um, now, there were some photos that I imported off of a memory card last night. Let me see. What did I do with those? There we go. Let's see. DVIM. Yeah. Let's see. Did I have... Yeah, I had a bunch of these here. I'm just looking at the composition. Uh, once again, we're looking at uh, doing stock photos that one's pretty good uh i like the composition better than this one how's this one no uh let's see rotate left rotate right w I, i'm i'm digging this one so definitely have that one so what i'm gonna do is bring that over to our stock photos here I don't even know how these got out of sorts stock photos thank you wow that was painful okay uh, raw to convert so I don't have the latest version of Lightroom um, because I don't want to pay every month for it so I am using the Adobe converter, the DNG converter. So let's go ahead. I'm going to grab this, put this in here. So we'll do that one. Uh, let's see if we have anything else. Um, I don't think this one's in focus. We can go ahead and try it but I don't think it's in focus. At least not enough for Shutterstock to approve it. I can't use this photo. I can't use this photo simply because of copyrights. Um, same thing here. Um, yeah. Now, there are some photos here I'm not clicking on, and there's a reason, obviously. I don't think I had... I had one more card that I had a bunch of photos on. I may have already pulled them. I got such a mess here that I got to clean up, but let me see. I usually leave my cards sitting in front of me here so that I can just easily grab them to edit them. But, and I haven't grabbed my wife's camera. She's got an A7R3 and I haven't, I haven't, I don't think I did. What's on this one? What's this one? Oh, I think this is it. I think, I think this is the one I haven't, <laughs> I haven't grabbed. Um, Let me go ahead and uh, get such a messed up setup here. All right, that should be loading up. And I'll just see if there's anything on here that we could use in the stream real quick. Oh, I think I did check these. Ow. I had to clean something today that is the thinnest sheet metal ever. And... I have sliced my fingers several times. Yeah, so so we did go through these already, I think. Yeah, I think I did. I think I did. Yeah, I did. I went through these already. So we don't have to go through these again, at least. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I did these. So I can get rid of that one. That's cool. All right, so we'll just do these two. Um, let me pull them in here. Uh, import. If anybody has any questions about like how to do this or 
you know, I, I don't mind actually editing, you know, a photo here or there. If you guys, you know, want to send me your photos, I don't, I don't mind. It, uh, it's always just practice as far as I'm concerned. So let's see. I'm not, uh, I'm not a super YouTuber like, uh, what Nigel Denson or, uh, Peter McKinnon, those guys. So I'm not super crazy. Oh, and I know I said earlier about, um, the, the audio, like YouTube safe audio, YouTube safe, um, audio, something like that. I think so there are now, I think YouTube, um, what is it? Copyright safe music. And then if you go in here, there's actual websites now that you can, um, you can actually stream music. It's not going to be like artist, artist music, but let's see here. I think that this is one. Yeah. And uh, Machinima Sound. Uh, I think it's the first one. Royalty free music. Yeah, but I don't think that's. Yeah, here. So, so on uh, Epidemic here i think it's epidemic yeah um oh peter mckinnon look at that <laughs> that's funny uh so let me see how much was it yeah so creator subscription started at 15 dollars a month you get all this stuff right here um new tracks added every week Thirty thousand tracks six thousand download tracks and stems and uh, join today, cancel anytime. No copyright claims or royalty fees. And so um, it's it's 15 bucks a month. That's basically the same price as having Spotify. So, you know, if you skip two lunches a month, something like that, you can, you can do it. Now, I'm going to go off scene here. I'm going to sign up for it because I haven't signed up for it. Um, use suggested password. Uh, agreed. Yes, I'm over 16. Continue. And then as soon as this finishes, I'll bring it back into, uh, I think I'll bring it back in. Hold on. If there's something that comes up, I'll, I'll take it off screen again. So, uh, zero to five million monthly channel views. Okay. 30 day free trial cleared for YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitch. We're on Twitch. So um, this is unlimited channel views. Maybe, no. Oh. That's weird. Why did I get a, oh, I'll have to change that. That's weird. Huh. Uh, so the only difference is, like this is a million, right? M, zero to five. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Um, I don't really care about this stuff right now. So let's just say you need at least one channel. Okay. Well, I will add my YouTube channel there. That's weird. I mean, it's the same thing. I, maybe that's why it found it. I don't know. Uh, save up to 20% by paying annually. Okay. That's, that's good to know. I don't think, let me just do PayPal checkout. I'm going to go off screen again real quick and we'll see how this thing works. Cancel anytime. That's, that's what I like about these, uh, the new subscription services is the cancel anytime. So I gotta wait for my two factor authentication to come in here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay.
And as soon as I finish the checkout process, I'll bring it back in so you guys can see the rest. We're just gonna try it for 30 days. If it's good, then, you know, we'll go from there. Okay, so I finished. I'll bring it back in. So uh, after you do that, it says, we have now added your new subscription. I still, if that look, zero to five million? Like, that can't be right. Um, so it shows my account up here. Our picks, your choices. Okay, it gives you kind of music, I guess you're looking for. Um, let's click on this one real quick, see what we got. Oh, interesting. So these are actually other creators. So I know this dude. I I, I believe that's Jesse. Um, I don't know. Let's let's see. Let's take a look around the world. What's this? Uh, I hope this isn't too loud. Yeah, I know. I'm about to do photos. I'm trying to get some kind of audio. These are just sound effects, it looks like. It is. So, let's get some music here that we can actually play. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard. Good evening. Can I stop this? Uh, pause. Okay. Um, it would be nice to, uh, to actually... Oh, come on. I need more than just three tracks two tracks can you just play something that would be cool um energy is low search for playlist how about um um i don't know uh mellow anything mellow no? Oh, okay. This must be like where you save it. Okay, Q stick. Here we go. So, <laughs> drones. Have a drones genre. Let's see what this sounds like. Oh, okay. That doesn't really work for me. Um, I'm definitely a, a hip hop kind of guy. So, let's see what this sounds like. Oh, you guys are probably getting an echo, aren't you? I just thought of that. Hold on. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Let me get my headphones. Oh, God. Get my headphones on. Ugh. Probably going to my speaker here. Ugh, get in there. Ow, shoulder. Oh, water. There we go. The only problem with having a huge 38 inch ultra wide monitor is like it gets in the way a lot okay so you guys shouldn't be able to hear it now all right so i'm gonna bring it down I'm trying to get the mix right let me see what it sounds like on stream since we don't have too many people in here right let's see what it sounds like on stream since we don't have too many people in here all right let's see what that sounds like I turn it up a little bit I think that's gonna work oh no 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 I really need to turn that off come on um, close and stop thank you wow all right let's get back to photos 
photos. Turn that down. These these headphones are really good. So, um, where were we? Okay, so stock photos for me. My wife has her own. So let's see. Raws to convert. Oh, I didn't convert them. That's right. So again, I'm just using the uh, Adobe DNG converter and it'll convert it into something Lightroom can read versus um, going out and paying for the new Lightroom stuff. So we want stock photos, raw to convert, and select the folder, and then we're gonna select the, the output folder and convert it. Select, I like to keep my stuff separate, so there we go. It's real quick, and then that's it then you're just good so then we'll go to converted and uh, let's cancel that I got confused somehow import it would be nice if it like stayed in the exact same folder you were just in um, I get lost in this thing converted there we go so yeah uh, these two are the ones we want this one and this one again I think this one's gonna be too blurred so import we'll start with this one we'll see how much how much noise come on Wow, my ISO must have been like way up. Come on, don't do that. I hate it when it does that. You accidentally hit that panel snap. All right, let's try to get this noise reduction down. Oh, it's gotta be more, because again, like if you try submitting this, and the state it's currently in to to Shutterstock, they would be like, nope. Just try to just trying to play with it enough where it's like it's not super obvious that I messed with the uh, the noise, but I don't think I'm gonna have a choice here. I did think I I think I took two. Let me see. Uh, desktop. Converted. Oh, nope. Sidetracked. All right. Let's see. Did I have any that weren't stupid that had the same composition? Um. Actually, no, I mean, that one's okay. I might just pull all these in. I think I'm just going to pull all those in. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Let's just do that. So we have stock photos um, to convert and just, oh I didn't want to do that so this one this one no oh, no I got out of order so trying to undo 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 oh it did not want to do that I'm just trying to put them back there we go because I want to just copy them. I don't want to take them too far out of the... Uh, I, I don't want to lose the photos. And I, I've done that so many times by not just copying the photos. Where's that other one? Because I just did it. That means it's going to pitch a fit if I try to... Where are you? There you are. All right. So... Let's go ahead and convert those. 
I did not mean to do that. I do that so often. Um, there we go. No, I don't want to open. Wait, what are you trying to open? That was weird. Select folder raw to convert. Yes, converted. Yes, convert. So like I said, it'll take a second here. And once they're all converted, easy peasy. Okay, that was weird. I thought he imported the, or at least it was. All right, I'm gonna go here and see if, maybe if I right click on it, it'll just let me set this as the default. No, it's not gonna let me. Well, that's weird oh no there it goes okay so uncheck all and let's grab that one this oh come on come on so cumbersome yeah and it's saying it thinks they're duplicates they're not so import you just need to find the best one okay so start with this one I do see noise that, uh, but again, it could be the one we already had. Yeah, so this has got a bunch of noise. I see the noise here already, but it doesn't mean it's gonna be super bad. It's got a little less noise. Do, 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 do. Come on. I think they're all gonna be about the same. That's the only problem. Now, not every stock photo site for content creators is gonna be as, um, how do I wanna say it? As critical of your work. So, I'm just gonna pull that down. Punch up. Just trying to get rid of this noise without destroying the uh, the photo itself, because they will. They'll just they'll just come in there and just like scrutinize the crap out of it, which is fair enough. It's their site. Um, I'm just trying to think. Now, I don't use all these tools all the time, which is why you'll see me like tinker with stuff. Come on. Yeah, so we may actually just use, uh, they're probably gonna say that's out of focus, which is bull crap. Because what I'm doing most of the time is I'm using a, uh, See, like this is in focus here. There's just so much noise. ISO was just too damn high. Yeah, it's just too high. So let's bring that down. I wonder what Shutterstock would have done like 10 years ago and other places like that that just um where they had this this problem where like noise had to be an issue 10 years ago like digital photography was nowhere near where it is today at all i don't know about this one let me go back to this one i feel like if we crop this a little better so
Um, I like I like this one. I just I feel like obviously there's too much noise. So we'll try to try to fight that noise a little bit there. Yeah, so we'll work on this one, I think. I think this one we'll try to submit. So let me remove that one. And remove this one. And remove this one. I'm gonna hang, I think I'm gonna hang on one of these. Let me see. Okay, so not this one. All right, so let's start with this one. And mm -hmm. yeah, I just like to mess with that stuff like right away. Just get it out of the way, you know? So light is actually in this scene coming in from a um, French doors and it's, it's cloudy because it's winter obviously so what i think i'm gonna do is use daylight and then just kind of tweak it from there so it's a little on the cold side all right we'll start with that I'll just kind of brighten this up not too much try to recover some of these shadows but I want to keep that contrast kind of keeps it punchy Messing with this clarity just a bit. Don't want to go crazy with the clarity. Because we'll have to fight the noise that it generates. That noise. So. I'm just going to bring the sharpening all the way down. Let's see if we can't do something about this noise. May have to no. And like I've said before, like go so far where you know you break it, right? And then you you'll know how far you've gone and like you went too far. So that's fine. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, this is really busy over here just because that is actually in focus. Um, I may do something like this. Let's see what that looks like. Um, well, maybe I'll fix that later in another way. Okay, so all the way out with the red. Bring that red back in just a bit. Something like that. Punch that yellow just a bit. You don't want to overwhelm it. I mean, we can always go back up to our main sliders and, and tweak it that way. What else we got in here? We got some magenta. No, more purple. Zero that out. Yeah, there's the purple. So just gonna punch that purple a little bit more. Let's see, what's this? Blue. I'm not worried about the blue. How about any greens? No, that's cool. Whoa, almost pulled out the uh, headphones. 
Um, I may end up adding. I'm thinking, what do I want to do here? Maybe something closer to that. Just to counterbalance the yellow. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna use a radio filter to try to just draw in a little more focus to a couple areas so that the uh, the curators at uh, Shutterstock hopefully can be fooled a little bit. So, oops, gotta invert that mask. There we go. See, so we're just, we're just trying to punch that up just a little bit so that it, uh, come on. So if, if the space that you're dealing with is, is noisy to begin with, you can get away with doing a little noise and it, it won't kill it too bad. Yeah. I see some noise now that it's finished applying so we can let's go back into it and select it because you go to all that trouble to get rid of the noise, but you try to like introduce sharpness and it just can all backfire it's kind of what we're dealing with here come on just tweak 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 till you like have a healthy balance obviously it speaks for itself so we got some attention here and it's just this like very thin layer of focus again so let's see here we're gonna do the same oh we didn't mean to do that we're gonna do the same thing here with this pine cone that just the edge here on these these tips is going to be hit with focus so just some of that some of this a little bit of clarity and invert there we go let's, let's pull that back down i'm going to punch the highlights a little bit just in this area just like that and I think that's I'm debating don't want to punch that too much on the saturation there all right okay um, I'm gonna use this uh, this other filter here we're going to use it to control the temperature just to try to give it the impression that there's actually a warm light coming in through the doors versus the cold. Man, I am starving. And that may be too much. Let me counter it here. Come on. My PC's a little on the slow side. Okay. Not much more I, I don't think we can do with this one. Sometimes there just isn't. Um, this light's hitting, but I think it's because there's a, a really hard light coming in and bouncing off of a very high glossy chair that's in, in the room. And I think that's where this is hitting. 
Yeah, there's not much more you can do with that one. Um, and what we could do here is we can actually just copy what we did. Uh, we don't need to copy uh, the crop or any spot removal. Noise, no filters, that should be it. So copy, and then we're just gonna paste it, let it do its thing. Okay, and that's that's about it. So not much more. Yeah, we could try to punch these just a bit. Just a bit. To really kind of give it the impression that it's in focus just to kind of fool them because again they like to say it's not in focus well not everyone is looking for a particularly perfectly focused photo you know it's called depth of field for a reason there's bokeh for a reason like i uh anyway so let's see we get those two okay I still like that that one better. I I don't think this one's in focus. I think parts of it are close. No, this is a moving um, moving car photo, so unfortunately, it is not in focus. No, not in focus. I don't know what would it what would it have looked like is is the question so i'm gonna just tweak it a little bit sometimes i don't like doing this because then you can be like oh why didn't i get it in focus so try to recover some of some of the different uh highlights and shadows okay there's obviously a with how hard the light is hitting the uh, the lens, we're getting some vignetting. Just gonna push this vibrance up just a bit. This is one of those shots where um, I do believe the wife she was driving down the road. We were gonna go pick up our son, and I said, you know. Let me shoot at the, the side of the moving car, which is always fun. I'm gonna try to make this orange a little, little red. Something like that. Just try to warm the overall image. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just bring in a little bit of warmth. Mm. That could be just the skyline. I, I'm looking at this orange over here on this right. I just keep thinking, well, maybe it's, yeah, something like that. That's not too bad. We'll do the same thing this way. Temperature, that's fine something like that and then I'm gonna bring in one more and we're actually gonna focus on recovering the sky so we want I gotta think about this I want to well I mean it doesn't matter we can change it as we go so we'll play saturation and Okay, so it's not that one. Nope, getting some recovery back here in these branches, playing with the aqua. Same thing there with the blue. What we might end up doing here is using a highlight. Just recover enough of the blue. But because it's fall, we're gonna like kind of teeter into the purple. Because it'll offset really nicely with the orange anyway. Okay. Let's 
somehow I messed that up. Let's see, redo, redo, redo. And okay. And then I'm just gonna come back in and try to find where this is. Nope. How about nope. This happens a lot. You're trying to find the color. I just don't think I have it selected anymore. So that's that one. This is this one. That's weird. There it is. Now I see it. All right. Hopefully I didn't mess with that too much. I think I did. I think I'm gonna have to go back and mess with the the red. Let's see blue. Nope. I have to find it now. Recovering it, but okay. Let's recover some highlights. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we brought a lot of detail back in with the trees, pulling those highlights way down. And trying to recover some shadows. I don't want to do it too much. Yeah, something like that. I mean, you can fake a lot of focus, tweaking your clarity and messing with your sharpness. Um, don't want to mess with this too much. Come on. Yeah, something like right in there. Yeah, D fringe isn't doing anything. All right. I'm trying to punch the saturation just a bit without destroying too much. Come on, bring it back. All right, where is trying to find out there's some blue right in the middle of the image and I'm just trying to determine which blue it is so I can control the saturation of it that's not too bad all right and once again there is some I think our sun might be too red, maybe. There. And then uh, once we done once we done all that. Just wanna give this a little more punch. And hopefully just not completely undo the work we just did. Um, all right, let me look at cropping this thing down. No, I think I'm gonna leave it. This is a flare, that's an odd flare. Um, you can see as we um, zoomed in a bit here that it is not in focus. It is not. But with how like small the Instagram photos are and things like that, you can probably cheat with that one a little bit. At least to give yourself some content. All right, so I think this one's out. Yeah, this one's out. And we'll see if there's any other photos. I, there's plenty of photos. I just, I have to be careful what I want to show versus what I don't want to show.
this one needs work because I'm gonna kind of treat this like an 85 mil image so it's uh it's gonna have more of a the main dog here is gonna be more projected let's see do I have anything a lot of these I know were shot with a um, an older camera and I just I know Shutterstock won't take them so I'm not even bringing them up now I do have a ton of other photos I just oh uh... think here where are they uh, my wife takes some awesome photos guys if you didn't know this just from some of the stuff um, but you got to take at least a thousand good photos before you get like 10 or something like that um, I don't think anything from her trip to South Africa is going to be usable for stock. Um, I, I definitely have uh, just kind of through my learning process have realized that you're just going to have to either tripod it or monopod it up seriously but uh yeah she's got some killer photos here from south africa that uh we're definitely going to be putting out on on her site her website and it'll go on instagram too uh, do, 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 do. i'm just kind of looking through these thinking okay can we do that can we do that no can't do that one um, I don't think there's anything in here. No, no. I used to have like these, I had like three photo album, well, photo folders that I was like, okay, I need to go through like these. And I think I'm going to take this one, move it back out. There we go. And my wife, she takes some random photos, but they can be, they can be good even when she does random, but it's weird. Like if she uses, it's so funny. I don't know. It's like if she uses a camera phone, a camera phone, uh, just a phone to take pictures. Like, I don't know. They're just not that good versus if she uses an SLR where it's, I don't know. I don't know, maybe it was her way of getting an SLR. Like, hey, I could take better photos if you gave me a really big camera. Like, okay, if you say so, I give her a really big camera, you know, and yeah. Um, yeah, I don't, man, I, uh, I'm going to go grab her camera and get her memory card. We'll see if she's got anything that I can work on. And I'll be back. This water's getting stale. We only got 10 minutes, so we'll look real quick. Oh, my neck is killing me. It's, it's almost got a permanent home <laughs> on the, uh, on the kitchen Island. So, but yeah, 
yeah this is this is hers like i said it's a uh it's an a7r3 and right now she's got a she's got a tamron 2875 on it so it's a good overall walk around lens and uh so anyway yeah let's see Out. I gotta make sure I don't get these mixed up. Now my Sony card, man, it, it was not happy last night. Not happy at all. <laughs> yeah, big camera. Well, let's see if she's got anything on this one. Uh, but yeah, that memory card, it did not like me at all on mine. So let's see, did you, again, random shots. Let's see what we got here. Oh, so close. This thing is cut off. That would have been good, kid. Nope, can't use that one. Nope. Yeah, that one's just almost kind of cool because it's like, <laughs> It's like this bear is staring at this ornament. Like it's looking at it. And she was really trying to take, oh, there we go. That's better composition. Oh, I think this one's better. Let me look. Oh yeah. Okay, so we got one. All right, let me, let me go ahead and grab her folder up here. So I need to actually like do two things. There's like stock photos and then there's just personal photos for her website. So let me grab that one. Once again, boom. So she took what, how many there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight individual photos trying to get that shot and uh, she got it. It looks good. I mean, where, where did it go? Oh no, where did it go? No, I'm just, it's gotta be here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Let me just Oh, I missed my Mac. You could just hit the space bar on a Mac and it just open. <laughs> Sad face. Um, so, so yeah. Oh no, is it, is it off? No? The focus is odd. So the buttons are in focus. Oh, she's got a super shallow depth of field. Super shallow. Cause see here the 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 artificial tree. Oh, it would have been good if if it was a real tree. But we're gonna play with it. We're gonna play with it. I like it. I like it. Um. Okay. What else we got here? Um. I don't want to show my kid. Do, do, do. Yeah, I tried taking pictures of the moon because I I love space. I'm very fascinated by space. Um, God, I thought she took a lot more photos than this because she's usually like going around like crazy and and snapping photos. But she's trying to get promoted right now at her at her work. And so she's got to like super, super focus. Um, but I don't like any of these. I've been so critical lately, more so than I, I normally am. I think she went outside to try to, yeah. Wow, kid. I wonder if I could do something with the snow. She got her shutter speed right, it looks like. And the funny thing is she's got like the natural eye for it, but she, um, she's, <laughs> it's funny. Like some people just have like natural talent about things and she's got this natural like photography talent and but if you were like hey <laughs> da, 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 some technical thing about photography and she would be like 
okay. Just think, is it a good photo? Well, yeah, it's a good photo, and I really like how, you know, your bokeh looks good. You know, nice, clean, brown bokeh, and image is sharp, and she's just like, yeah, okay. As long as the picture's good, <laughs> it cracks me up. Um... Problem is that like this is the snow is cool, but the shot itself sucks because it's like a boring neighborhood. Uh, like a boring neighborhood shot. So like, I don't even, can you, I mean, we might be able to, I don't know it's just it's just boring and i don't uh, there's those times where you're like god i wish i had been like we have a park very close to us but um yeah i don't think any of my my moon shots actually came out the way i wanted it to because i, I was not using the uh yeah nope so, um, all right, well, let me go back over to what we have here and see if there's something that I haven't done yet. Cause I wanted to do at least two more. I think this shot is in focus. It was taken with, it looks like a cannon. A lot of these, a lot of the Boston shots are in, they're in focus, but the camera we had at the time was not, this may work. I'll, I'll grab, I'll grab this one too. So we'll do two, we'll do two here. We'll do two more. God, I am tired of how, how much pain I was in all last night. Like I was just tired when I woke up this morning. Didn't even finish my coffee. Haven't had a Coke. I'm trying to cut back on the soft drinks. Let's see here. Um, photos. I don't think it's gonna let me do the JPEGs. Oh, wait, here they come. Sometimes Lightroom can just be super finicky. Uh, doo -doo -doo, where are you? No, I'm not, I'm not doing that one. Here it is. So I want this one. And I'm just kind of looking around. Because I will have to convert the other one. So let me go ahead and pull this one in. No, because... Uh, let me... Copy as DNG. I didn't know I could do that. DNG in a new location add to catalog okay that's cool so where is, where's my photo for the come on this is why I like to shoot in raw and JPEG because then you uh, you can see where it is until you can't see where it is I know it's in this folder Mr. Ornament, where are you? All right, I'll just look it up. It is right here. So DSC 75. So it would be back here. 
Oh, alphabetical idiot. IMG, IMG. That's weird. DSC. Why isn't it showing that it's in here? Now I'm just confused. I'm looking at all the names and yeah, I don't, oh, well, ESC. Okay, so there it is. It's right here. All right. So let's see if it's just gonna let me copy. And I guess the destination folder is going to be this one. Hey, I don't have to open them in a different folder now. That's awesome. Unless this is just a pain. See, I have a photos to go through folder. I just saw it. Durr. Um, so photos. Why is it showing them by date? Oh, converted. Here we go. Yes. Go in that folder. Import, maybe? Uh, okay, so non-raw files were not converted. Okay, so basically everything I did or tried to do, it didn't like. So uh, go back to Mr. Trusty here. Open folder and stock photos. Uh, select, right? Oh, I did that wrong. So raw to convert apparently i did not do that and then now that i have that we can take our little thing here drop it in there come back here have it selected and we want to select a new location which is converted and say select and convert and done exit we'll close this down let's go ahead hey you stay out of there talking to my dog um import come on import so copy and then do 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 users Papalotti, desktop so because i'm streaming this music while we're doing this and when i upload a youtube this video we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see we're gonna see if it catches it. If it doesn't catch it and I'm good to go, then yay. Cause I see so many people that I know where they think they're clear on the audio and then it gets uploaded to YouTube and then they get a notice saying, sorry, your video has been demonetized. Awesome, right? Didn't I already do this? <laughs> I check all. Okay, so here it is, import. And now that it does its stupid thing, I'm just gonna say this. So let's go to the first one. Well, let's, I'm gonna bring this up real quick. So that one is there and I want this one to be this one. So we have a before and after so you can see what we did here, um, just try to restore some of the color in the sky and then just, you know, yada, yada. So let me shut that down and let me get rid of this one. Just remove it, don't delete it. And so the ones, okay. So we're gonna just punch this one up because again, I think it's gonna be it may not be too noisy. Huh. Is it? Yeah, it's big enough. They wanted at least like four megapixels. We may get away with this one. Okay, I'm going to let it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, then we'll go into general and punch it. That's pretty good over to develop I, I like to use the punch just to kind of get the ball rolling um, wow this this line right here is really let me see if I can get rid of that line 
without it being like downright obvious. Oh, I went off a little bit. We'll see. And then what? Like, I don't get that. If I get it right next to it and down. I mean, we can always clean it up in Photoshop. I just want to see what it looks like. If it's going to be better. Yeah, it'll be better. So, um, so something that might be even better or at least easier to do here is, is just do it in Photoshop. So we'll clean the majority of this up and then we'll, we'll do that. So recover some of the shadows and you'll see right here that the, the light is now being exposed uh, a little better. I want to just really kind of bring this orange out. Something like that. Okay. We'll probably get rid of this because that's just a, that's a focus thing. This thing right here. Because sorry that that is not a point of interest. Let's see what that looks like. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right. Uh, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I think I kind of want to push because we have so much orange in the scene. I want to push the the blues a little bit. Yeah. I need to get my other rigs built because. I mean, Lightroom is just so heavy on the processes. Try to restore some of this blue here. And. Yeah, we're going to go the way of the aqua. We'll punch this green a bit since we have this grass in the back here. Just to give it a little more color. And you'll also see the green here. There's like green in the netting and uh so that that'll be good i'm gonna punch the clarity just a bit more make sure we don't knock anything out too much highlights don't want to lose our highlights but at the same time put them to work I think I want to take these shadows and just kind of give them a bit of a green. Just to kind of be more cohesive with the image itself. Too bad. Um, there is some vignetting uh, that you can see over here in the corner. Now that I've done all that, you can see the vignetting. I'm gonna try to fix that. We'll see. Um, I'm thinking. Yeah, so that's basically what's going on. But I'm worried that I'm gonna. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna use our our isolation here. And I didn't mean to grab that, but I think I'm gonna leave it because I like happy accidents and I like what this just did. So before it's just this like cold blue, but kind of giving it this this warmth there is good. We just need to fix the uh, 
this this problem here with this vignetting down in this corner so we'll invert the mask as you can see there it is but I don't want any of that stuff I want to we're gonna try to just maybe use shadows here come on give me what I want so let's see without it and with it um, without with all right let's try that that's not too bad but I just I kind of like like what's going on here I think I'm gonna bring in another gradient filter and just kind of bring this down across and it it's gonna add a warmth to the sky yeah I like that you guys might not be able to see what exactly what I see because I'm on a color calibrated accurate model like this is a hundred percent uh, Adobe RGB 100% sRGB uh, I got a spider color for like so what I see is accurate versus uh, what you guys might see so I'm just kind of looking at what's going on with this water because I'm trying to make the water just punch a little bit more come on don't don't mess up on me now <laughs> telling me dude you're not you're not moving around enough all right that's cool I like it I like it let's move on so where's the uh oh, I always hate this part because there's supposed to be a um, darn it I forget there's a shortcut to compare it's basically the same thing as um, looking at the before and after and I can't remember it's before after ah why is that it yeah so you can see the image on the left is is what we had uh, to begin with and we've just basically made it a much more interesting photo um, and it's, it's just cooler it's just cooler it's, it's awesome so good job kid taking the photo I like it so um, I'm so used to hitting save and Lightroom just kind of does its own thing all right let's see what we can do with this guy um, do, 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 do. Uh, so again we'll start with punch oh wait no start with yeah start with punch okay and again just punch just kind of moves it a little bit and do we need to see oh it's still working <laughs> okay there it is yeah so this is in focus okay you can see the noise um, so let's tackle the noise first so we're gonna bring the sharpening down it's already a sharp photo to begin with and maybe bring down the detail and then we're just gonna kind of notch up this noise until until that noise just 
goes away enough where it's not noticeable right about there so the image is still sharp um but it's it's not it's not killing it so sometimes if i can get away from, from the noise i'll try to add some sharpening back in again just enough yeah that's okay so yeah it's still a clean image um this will make a good instagram photo but let's see here so this is the as shot white balance it's indoors so you could try a couple of different ones so here's cloudy nope shade nope um daylight nope no uh, you know let's see what uh, lightroom thinks i always find lightroom to be just too cold when it comes to that um all right let's just gonna i don't want to like over expose the crap out of it okay just clarity up just a little bit more just a just a little little bit you know watch these shadows we don't want them to disappear we just want them to do their job try to bring our highlights back um by adjusting our whites and our highlights something like that um let me crop this down some more uh no i'm using my navigator up at the top to frame it hmm. I'm gonna leave it alone because I don't want to uh, I want to I really don't want to mess with it yet you know what I mean come on come on I'm waiting for it to there we go <laughs> it's like come on you can do it um see sometimes there's just not a whole lot you need to do um i'm gonna punch the green so you can see like especially if you look at the sweater the bear is wearing or the reindeer so if we blow out the green you can look, also look at that light up in the corner you can see when you blow the green out you don't want to blow the green out so the same thing with the yellow okay the orange you know dial that sucker back you know take it all the way down so you can see what areas are going to be affected when you start tweaking stuff so many people do this, you know, where they just do this like little bit at a time. And it's like, well, how do you know what's what? So I think I'm going to have to tweak. Yeah. So I like the green there where it's more of a Christmas green instead of like a forest green. much with the uh the orange and the red for obvious reasons uh let's go ahead and grab some some shadow here 
and see where we want to land. Like I'm kind of expecting Wu Tang to jump in here on the mic. No, 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 because we're basically just eradicating any white balance. You know, sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't. Sometimes it just does not want to do what I want it to do. Come on. Try to get that balance. Come on. Go back up to the top here. It wasn't updating like I wanted it to. It was misbehaving. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad. Let's see if we can kind of bring a little focus. So we're going to go here to um, Iris Enhance. We're just going to try to bring a little more focus to them. Yeah, I just don't want it to be like obvious. Uh, no. I want to do something different. Let's do clarity. No, 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 no. Sharpness. And invert. I want to make sure I get this right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. Sometimes it's easier to do the, the iris um, uh, shift in, um, in Photoshop. Sometimes it can be a lot easier. I'm just trying to make the photo now a little more interesting by trying to drive the focus towards the bear. So I want to work on this a little bit more over here. I like the way this key light is basically hitting this. Well, it's more of a, yeah, it's a key light. I was thinking a rim light, but it's not. The rim lights are back here coming off of these, these bulbs, these yellow ones. Um, Come on. 
Okay. <sighs> okay, I missed something here. Nope. Okay. What time is it? Five minutes. Okay. I think this one's pretty much done. Just kind of looking at anything else here that I want to do. It's been a while since I've. I can't remember. Can I? I don't think I can. No. Maybe. Come on. Just a little bit, because there, there was a little bit over there. And then you can take the adjustment brush and do all kinds of things with it. And I think I want to boost some highlights in this area. Basically, you're painting out the mask this way. So you can almost blow that out but I, I'm trying to bring focus back to something that it's um, it's almost a diffused ball with the with the way that these are painted. There's, um, there, this is on our tree, this is how I know this. So there's glossy balls that are really shiny and then there are um, diffused, uh, not as shiny. Um, so I know that this is, one of those so it would appear that it's out of focus but it's not so if you look at the hook the ornament hook it's on you'll see that the ornament hook is mostly in focus so I, uh, I kind of forgot that and so what uh, yeah just want to pull your eyes to it Yeah, there we go. Just to, just let that highlight show without, you know, without killing it. it but it can be a little bright um, because it's going to give it to the, you know, the, the bear too. So um, maybe too much. I think it's too much. Let's go halfway down on each of these from where they stand. Okay, now I think I've gone too far. Just right about there. Shadows can go all the way up. That's fine. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, I think I think it's done. I think it's done. Granted, I would love it if it was a real tree. Um, we can do a little spot removal here. I still don't understand why it goes so far out from the the uh, the tool area. There we go. That's kind of distracting this little area here. So let's just see. You can also just nitpick the crap out of stuff. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. Let's see. No, you go down here. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, it just seemed so distracting. It was taken away from his scarf and stuff. So I think, I think that's it. Yeah. I think that's it. All right. So, uh, yeah, we've done we've done a few here. So this one, obviously, um, w did a little work on this one for the stock photos. This one too. 
Again, I like the composition better on this one. Um, uh, we did a kind of, so, hold on, original photo. Uh, there you go. Um, so that's the before, this is the after, obviously. I think you guys can understand that. So we'll do that. Um, so let me go to the beginning. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so we did this one. Okay, so obviously the original's on the left and the one we edited is on the right. I'm looking. <laughs> They're, they're in order by date. I should probably figure out how to change that. Uh, then we did this one. So it's gonna build the original here in a second by backtracking. Yeah, so it was brought in like that. And I mean, that's what we came up with. So that's still good, right? Even though it's out of focus. Uh, then we did this one. It didn't take too much on this one. And we could actually punch up some stuff a little bit more I wish I knew like, okay. So the problem with doing something like this is that there's some colors that are being shared between these two. And so let's say I wanted to, that's interesting. Why isn't the filter isolating? Okay, that's odd. It should be isolating that. And it's not. Um, I don't know. That's weird. Anyway, so original on the left and uh, our modified version on the right. Again, just slight tweaks. Nothing, nothing crazy. And, uh, you know, you can see there. And then, of course, uh, the last one here. He's got to build the original, which there we go. Not a lot. Um, you know, we boosted some colors to draw your attention more towards towards the bear, uh, just some shadows and highlights just to, you know, pull you in a little bit more. Got rid of that silly distracting light down below his scarf. I'm trying to think what else. Um, yeah, I think that, oh, well, we cleaned up the noise quite a bit because there was quite a bit of noise. But I think that's all. I think my favorite out of the ones we did today, I mean, this one's cute, obviously, but you know, I like this one. Um, I like that one, yeah. So I would say, yeah, that one and, and then this one would be my favorites for today. So anyway, uh, that's gonna be it uh, for this uh, photography editing stream and uh we'll be sending it out to our youtube channel as usual and i hit a button okay there we go and that's it so later